Hey, welcome to a new video. Welcome to the world of amusement parks, where dreams come to life and excitement knows no bounds. Everyone loves visiting an amusement park, but have you ever wondered what a park looks like when it's abandoned? Well, you clicked on the right video. Today we'll show you the 20 scariest abandoned amusement parks in the world. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 20. Deeply hidden in the heart of Sonur and Bali lies the dilapidated and abandoned remnants of Taman Festival, an amusement park that was built in the 1990s but never opened to the public. What was once a place of joy and laughter is now shrouded in darkness and has earned the reputation as one of the most eerie places in Bali. The amusement park was originally constructed as an ambitious project with various attractions, such as a 3D theater, a replica of the Great Wall of China, a miniature Eiffel Tower, and a gigantic Buddha statue. There are numerous rumors about why it was abandoned and never officially opened to the public. Some speculate that the project was cursed, while others believe it was due to financial problems. A dark legend tells the story that the amusement park was built on a cursed land and that the tragic death of the owner's son led to its closure. Today, Taman Festival has become a place where people come to capture spooky photos of the decaying structures. However, those who dare to enter the amusement park are met with an eerie silence. Number 19. Ghost Town in the Sky is an abandoned amusement park located atop a mountain peak in Maggie Valley, North Carolina. The abandoned park is considered one of the most eerie places in the United States. Built in the 1960s, Ghost Town in the Sky was a dream come true for adventure enthusiasts. The park offered a range of attractions inspired by the Wild West. Visitors could take a train ride or a chairlift that would transport them to the mountain's summit. The saloon, modeled after a classic western bar, hosted various shows, and park attractions included a Native American village and a Wild West Ghost Rider. Despite its popularity, the park was abandoned in the early 2000s due to financial issues. Over the years, the park has fallen into disrepair, with buildings and attractions collapsing into ruins. Many believe that the park's location, high on a mountain peak, only adds to its eerie ambiance. Dark tales surround the park, with rumors of ghosts of people who perished on the mountain and sightings of shadowy figures lurking in the abandoned structures. It's said that the original owner left powerful curses, leading to strange events that still occur today. Do you believe in ghosts? And would you dare to explore an abandoned amusement park where paranormal activities occur? Number 18. Introducing Nara Dreamland, an abandoned amusement park located in Nara, Japan. This park was built in 1961 and was designed as a replica of Disneyland. It featured many similar attractions, such as the Haunted Mansion, Space Mountain, and a replica of Sleeping Beauty's castle. During its heyday, it attracted millions of visitors, but by the early 2000s, attendance had declined, and the park was left abandoned. It's said that the spirit of a little girl wanders through the park at night. Strange sounds and unexplained movements have also been reported by those brave enough to explore the park. When the park was still open, visitors could ride a steam train through the park or join a parade with famous Disney characters. But be warned, if you dare to visit Nara Dreamland nowadays, prepare yourself for a creepy adventure. And as the sun sets, you never know what lurks in the abandoned corners of this haunting amusement park. Number 17. The Holy Land Experience is an amusement park located in Orlando, Florida modeled after Jerusalem during biblical times. Despite being well visited since its opening in 2001, the closure of the theme park in 2021 has raised many questions. It's been reported that the park's finances ran into trouble in 2019, and operations were halted in 2020. Since then, the doors of the amusement park have been locked, and the premises appear eerily abandoned. However, some are skeptical of this explanation, suggesting the controversies arose regarding the theming of the park, with some finding it disrespectful due to the religious and historical aspects portrayed. This coupled with the changing market conditions and other competition in the amusement park industry ultimately led to the park's closure. Today, you can still catch a glimpse of some of the biblical locations within the park, including the Jerusalem Shrine, which now sits abandoned. Number 16. 
The Wonderland Eurasia theme park in Ankara, Turkey has garnered attention for its creepy, semi-destroyed and abandoned attractions. This vast theme park was intended to be a magical destination, offering a wide range of rides and entertainment for visitors of all ages. It aimed to become the largest amusement theme park in the world, and opened in 2019 with a whopping 17 roller coasters. Wonderland Eurasia boasted a remarkable collection of dinosaur attractions, featuring lifelike replicas and immersive exhibitions that transported guests back to a time where dinosaurs ruled the Earth. However, despite its initial success, the park encountered numerous obstacles that ultimately led to its downfall. One of the key factors contributing to its discontinuation was financial instability. The park required significant investments for its maintenance and ongoing development. Additionally, the park faced controversies and criticisms regarding its management, design, and execution. Some critics argued that the park's offerings were not original and fell short of the expectations set by other well-known theme parks. The developers of the theme park were even arrested on charges of corruption, leading the Turkish government to seize control of the park in 2019. Number 15. Gulliver's Travel, a novel written by Irish author Jonathan Swift, is a satirical book first published in 1726. The novel follows the journey of a man named Lemuel Gulliver, who travels to multiple fictional lands. Gulliver's Kingdom is an amusement park inspired by that book and was built in 1997 near Mount Fuji in Japan. The park aimed to recreate the fantastical world of Gulliver's travels, complete with miniature versions of famous landmarks and attractions. The park had created a gigantic version of the Emil Gulliver, as well as a miniature replica of the Grand Canyon. Visitors could ride boats, representing the floating city of Lugnog, and enjoy various attractions throughout the park. Gulliver's Kingdom even had a scale replica of the Bermuda Triangle, complete with its own ghost ship that visitors could board and explore. However, the park failed to attract enough visitors, and was ultimately closed in 2001, after four years of operation. Number 14. The Sadad Abanoa theme park built in the early 2000s aimed to bring the magic of Christmas to life. However, it failed on all fronts. A child would cry at the sight of the eerie remnants of the amusement park. The fact that Sadeid Albanoa was constructed on a secret indigenous burial ground adds to the creepy atmosphere. One of the main attractions of Sadeid was its massive white castle, complete with a clock tower and a drawbridge. Visitors would enter the grand ballroom of the castle and enjoy various Christmas-themed performances. Throughout the park, visitors could see animatronic reindeer, elves, and Santa's sleigh in a snowy landscape. Despite this, the park was plagued with issues from the beginning. Allegations of corruption and mismanagement led to financial difficulties, and ultimately the owner's bankruptcy. The park was closed in 2010, and today it remains abandoned, slowly crumbling under the Brazilian sun. Since then, many of the attractions have also been completely destroyed. Number 13. Welcome to Camelot Theme Park, an abandoned amusement park in the United Kingdom that has transformed into a haunting place. This theme park first opened its doors in 1983 and operated until 2012 when it was forced to close due to financial reasons. The once beautiful park had a medieval theme, complete with night tournaments, thrilling roller coasters, and a magical castle, all inspired by the legend of King Arthur. The iconic entrance of the park featured a large statue of King Arthur, holding a sword illuminated by neon lights. However, the park was left abandoned and has since become a hotspot for curious visitors wanting to explore the deserted amusement park. People who have visited the park since its closure describe the atmosphere as eerie and nature has completely taken over the grounds. Number 12. When future civilizations discover the ruins of Takakananua theme park deep in the forest, they will be astonished. It was once a thriving amusement park in Japan, featuring various thrilling attractions that drew large crowds of visitors. It was even known as the Japanese Six Flags, a reference to the famous American amusement parks. Takakunuma once had a ski slope, making it a unique destination for winter sports enthusiasts. However, today the park lies abandoned and dilapidated. The theme park has a mysterious past and various urban legends surrounding its closure. One popular theory suggests that the park owner fled the country after embezzling money. 
Another story suggests that the park's remote location deep in the forest made it difficult to attract visitors. The roller coasters and other attractions of the park still stand, but appear rusted. Additionally, old arcade machines and other remnants can be found scattered throughout the park. Number 11. Encore Garden, an abandoned amusement park in Taichung, Taiwan, was once a place filled with various thrilling attractions and a water park. The theme park was designed taking inspiration from Disney World's Magic Kingdom, featuring similar architecture and decorations. Additionally, the water park was designed by the renowned Taiwanese architect C.Y. Lee, who also designed Taipei 101, Taiwan's tallest building. The park closed its doors in the early 2000s and now sits completely abandoned. The eerie appearance of the park attracts people eager to wander through the overgrown grounds. What influenced the closure of the theme park was the 1999 earthquake that struck Taiwan. Measuring 7.6 on the Richter scale, the earthquake caused significant damage to the park, along with other buildings and structures in Taichung. While there are no known fatalities associated with the earthquake in Encore Garden, the disaster contributed to the park's closure. There is also a rumor that the carousel in Encore Garden is haunted by the spirit of a young girl. While there's no definitive proof of this claim, you certainly have to be brave enough to visit the park nowadays. Number 10. The amusement park that has more than earned its spooky reputation is Lake Shawnee Amusement Park in Mercer County, West Virginia. It has a dark history and now appears eerily abandoned. The park opened in the 1920s and was owned by the Snitto family, who tragically lost two of their children on the premises. In the 1950s, the park was closed after a fatal accident where a boy was struck by a truck while playing on the swings. According to legend, the park was situated on the site of a Native American burial ground with multiple graves on the property. The park's founder, Conley T. Snitto, reportedly disregarded warnings from local residents about the sacred nature of the land and proceeded to build the amusement park regardless. Furthermore, it's believed that the park has been the scene of many bloody conflicts between early European settlers and Native American tribes. Despite attempts to reopen the park, it remains abandoned, with the remaining attractions and structures in various stages of decay. Number 9. Miracle Strip Amusement Park, located in Panama City Beach, Florida, was a beloved attraction for both locals and tourists. However, after nearly 50 years, the amusement park had to close its doors. One of the notable features of Miracle Strip was its beachfront location, with the Gulf of Mexico serving as a stunning backdrop to the park's many attractions and rides. But the same waterfront that drew in so many visitors ultimately proved to be the downfall of the amusement park. Severe damage and flooding from Hurricane Opal in 1995 rendered it irreparable. While the park's abandonment makes it a popular destination for urban exploration, it's also a location that comes with danger and risks. The park has been the site of numerous accidents, and the aging structures can pose a serious threat to anyone who enters. Additionally, the amusement park is situated on private property and is even illegal to enter. Number 8. The notorious Oak Po Land theme park has gained a reputation as South Korea's worst amusement park and one of the worst attractions the country has ever seen. But what made the amusement park so terrible that it had to close in 1999? One of the biggest issues was the complete lack of attention to safety measures. Visitors reported unsafe rides with rusty and broken equipment. Even park inspectors had deemed some attractions as unsafe, but no one listened until tragedy struck in a tragic accident in 1995. A young girl lost her life after a fall from one of the rides, solidifying the amusement park's negative reputation. It was foreclosed upon, and all its assets were sold at an auction. That could have been the end of the story, but there's one small detail. The amusement park was never demolished. Instead, it has remained abandoned and decaying for over two decades. Number 7. Six Flags New Orleans, formerly known as Jazzland, was devastated by Hurricane Katrina just one year before its 20th anniversary. The storm caused immense damage to the amusement park, with floodwaters inundating the rides. Katrina was one of the deadliest hurricanes in American history, and several attractions were submerged in several feet of water. Nature has reclaimed the amusement park, with foliage and trees growing amidst the abandoned structures. The pathways that were once crowded with visitors are now overgrown with weeds and debris. 
The buildings, once vibrant and colorful, have faded and fallen into disrepair over time, leaving behind an eerie presence. Visitors venturing into the abandoned amusement park are greeted with a sense of abandonment. Graffiti and signs of vandalism are scattered throughout the premises. Despite its dilapidated state, the amusement park still holds a certain allure. Curious visitors are drawn to its creepy charm and the opportunity to witness the remnants of a forgotten era. While there have been occasional discussions and proposals for the redevelopment of the amusement park, its future remains uncertain. Number 6. Fantasy World in Lamiri, Batangas, Philippines is a fascinating place that was intended to be a magical wonderland that would enchant visitors. The theme park, often described as the Disneyland of the Philippines, is located on the island of Leyte. In the 1990s, the amusement park was a popular destination for tourists, featuring fairy tale attractions, a castle like structure, and colorful rides that seemed to be plucked straight out of a children's fantasy book. Unfortunately, the theme park did not survive, and it's now advertised as a photo park. One of the most notable features of the abandoned amusement park is the massive castle like building, which still proudly stands despite years of neglect. The castle is designed to resemble something out of a fairy tale, complete with towers and moats, and is said to have housed an upscale restaurant. As you wander through the amusement park, you will notice that it's not just the castle that has fallen into disrepair. The attractions and rides are now overgrown and rusting away. While discussions have emerged over the years to breathe new life into Fantasy World, including potential partnerships and redevelopment plans, the amusement park remains in limbo. Number 5. Step into the wondrous world of the abandoned Land of Oz theme park on Beach Mountain, North Carolina. This amusement park opened its doors in 1970 and was inspired by L. Frank Baum's classic children's book, The Wizard of Oz. It was adomed with costumes, dramatic sets, and themed attractions. After 10 years, the amusement park was forced to close its doors in 1980. Today, the amusement park has become a popular destination for people who come to enjoy its eerie remains. In recent years, plans have been set in motion to refurbish and restore the amusement park to its former glory. While it still remains in decay, there is hope that one day the Land of Oz theme park will once again welcome visitors into its magical world. But until that day comes, visitors can stroll along the yellow brick road, peek into the abandoned Emerald City, and gaze up at the Wicked Witch's castle. The former grandeur and fantasy of the amusement park are still visible in the beautiful structures and colorful facades that remain, enticing visitors with the promise of what once was. Number 4. Let the sunset on the outskirts of Berlin mark the beginning of our journey to Spree Park, once a thriving amusement park, now abandoned and neglected. This amusement park was once a beloved destination for thousands of visitors. It boasted a towering ferris wheel, colorful attractions, and a charming fairy tale theme. Spree Park first opened its doors in 1969 and quickly became one of East Germany's most popular attractions. However, after the fall of the Berlin Wall, the amusement park faced too many financial troubles and eventually teetered on the brink of bankruptcy. Spree Park was known for its wild and often controversial history, which began with its founder, Norbert Witt. Norbert was a businessman and a carnival operator who purchased the amusement park in 1991, following the fall of the Berlin Wall. His methods were often unconventional, and he reportedly added new attractions to the amusement park without proper safety inspections and permits. This led to several accidents and injuries over the years. In 1999, he fled to Peru with his family, intending to set up new attractions in Lima. However, the venture failed, and he was arrested for attempting to smuggle prohibited substances back into Germany. Number 3. Get ready to be spooked at the Western Village Japan Theme Park, an abandoned amusement park located in the Fukushima Prefecture of Japan. Because if there's anything scarier than a big amusement park, it's a park filled with thousands of dolls. This park once had a cowboy and a western theme, complete with a haunted house and a wild west town. But today, only the dolls remain, frozen in their eerie lifelike poses for over 10 years. The park was abandoned in 2006 after years of financial issues and safety concerns. One of the most famous features of the park is the iconic haunted house, one of the few remaining structures from its heyday. 
Are you brave enough to explore the park and immerse yourself in a world of creepy dolls, western themes, and ghostly apparitions? Let me know in the comments. Number 2 Welcome to Yangmaland Theme Park in Seoul, Korea. The amusement park evokes a deep-rooted fear in its visitors. Yangmaland opened its doors in 1980, and for decades it was a popular destination for families and thrill-seekers. The park featured various attractions, including a ferris wheel, roller coasters, and even a haunted house. However, as time went on and more modern amusement parks emerged in the city, Yangmalan lost its popularity and had to close its doors in 2011. Since then, the park has been left to the elements, with buildings and attractions slowly decaying and being overtaken by nature. It's quite an eerie feeling to walk along the paths and see the rusted attractions. The cheerful laughter of children has been replaced by a haunting silence, and all you hear is the rustling of leaves in the wind. The once vibrant attractions of the amusement park are now faded and weathered, covered in graffiti and rust. Plants and trees have grown around the attractions, their branches twisting and weaving through the metal frames, creating a post-apocalyptic landscape. Number 1 Disney River Country in Florida is a former water park that was very popular among families and vacationers in the 70s and 80s, but eventually closed in 2001. Once a destination for summer fun, the amusement park now lies abandoned. One of the creepiest aspects of River Country is the abandoned water slides, which still stand tall and twisted among the trees. Among them is the infamous Whoopin Holler Hollow, a massive water slide that was closed in the 90s after a number of accidents and injuries. The most notorious incident in River Country occurred in 1980, when a boy drowned in the park's upstream plunge attraction. Since then, visitors and employees have reported seeing and hearing strange things around the attraction, leading many to believe it's the ghost of the boy. What's your favorite amusement park? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.